Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I still don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, if you guys saw my last video uh, for my update for one of my project pans, you'll have noticed that I am so rusty from filming, or from not filming, I should say. See, here we go already. Let's let's start this video off with a bang, girl. Um, yeah, so it's been a while since I filmed due to computer malfunctions and animals uh, needing surgery. Lots of great stuff happened in December. Not that you'd know, because you didn't see my face at all on YouTube for the entirety of December, but that is changing. We've already started filming again and yeah, we're rusty. So today's video is a Project Pan intro for the uh, first part of 2019. This is going to be called the Thank You Next Project Pan. I am doing it with my best friend Courtney K here on YouTube. Um, I love collabing with her because we are real life friends and I just love her. I've always loved her Project Pans. She does all kinds of great videos on her channel. Definitely go check her out. You've heard me talk about her probably 800 million times, like just around that number on my channel and it ain't gonna stop. So if you don't like it, thank you next. I'm just kidding. Um, but I, I decided to do this project pan. I thought it would be a really cute idea to pick a few products that we just would not repurchase, um, products that we have enjoyed, but we're just not going to repurchase in the future. Hence the name, thank you, next. I love it. I think I was clever. I like it. Um, if you guys would like to join in on this project pan, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I would love to watch your videos, but yes, I picked four. I think she picked four too, and we are going to dive right in. We'll be doing monthly updates and we'll be doing the finale uh, the first day of spring in March. See how well I know my calendar? Winning. So like I said, Courtney's link down below. Go check her out. Give her a thumbs up. Give her a subscribe. Tell her I love her. Give her a virtual hug. I don't care what you do. Just go check. The first product that I have is an older product and I adore it. I really honestly love it, but unfortunately I can't find it in the United States, like anywhere at all whatsoever. So I don't think I would repurchase it just for that matter. Uh, but this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny. I have loved this bronzer for many, many years. Um, I do have a little bit of pan in it. It's a little bit thin, not like super thin. I really focused my brush in the center, but my goal for this product by March is to get pan where the inner part of the sun is. So if you kind of look at an angle, it has a sun pattern and then there's a circle right in the center of the sun right here. And I would like that entire circle to be pan at a minimum. If it's more than that, great. But I would really like to see more use on this because of how long I've had it for and how much I love it and it just needs to go. So that is my first product in this project. The second product that I have is another powder. This is a eyeshadow though. So I have I don't want to admit how many eyeshadows I have, you guys. I counted my palettes the other day for my little inventory I'm doing, and I about choked on my own spit because I had no idea I had that many palettes. You guys will probably see a declutter at some point. I just did my foundation declutter. I think I did my primer in the same video. I'm not 100%. I'll link it down below though. I'll link my whole declutter playlist down below so you can see what I've done in the past, but I am due for another very large makeup declutter. Um, I've accumulated way too much. so. That being said, that whole story was to the point that I have too many eyeshadows. Segway. So this is out of the uh, BH Cosmetics and Shanex O palette that she did. I love Shanex O, I really do, but I wasn't a huge fan of her palette. I loved the mattes in the palette, but the shimmers just did not do anything for me. They were all very similar. They just weren't, they didn't give me the pop that I wanted. So um, I did depot a bunch of the shadows that I liked and got rid of the rest. So this shadow is the matte uh, like cream shade out of it. There's no names, but I do obviously have pan. Um, basically it looks like a typical matte cream eyeshadow. Um, nothing fancy, but I would like to use this completely up. It's a little bit pink toned, so I don't tend to use it all over my lid. I actually use it more as a brow bone highlight. I am wearing it on my eyebrow today, on my eyebrow. <laughs> I'm wearing it under my eyebrow today um, as a little bit of a highlight, but I do like it. I just feel like it needs to get out of my collection. Not to mention this is not magnetic, so I can't even put it in a Z palette, and I'm always afraid of knocking it off my vanity and making a mess all over the floor. The next product I have is also on my lips right now. Um, this is the Urban Decay hi-fi shine lip gloss in the shade spl so this is i think it's really pretty i actually have two of these it's not that i wouldn't repurchase it it's just that i have so many lip glosses i have no need to and i have a lot that look like this so it's i really like it a lot 
and it gives you like that cooling sensation on the lips. So I really do like it. Um, it's a beautiful color. It is this pale pink, but it doesn't come off pink on the lips. And it has this beautiful gold and silver like flecked shimmer. It's not gritty or anything. It's just gives a really beautiful shine as you can see on my lips right now. I'll give you a quick swatch of it. There it is right there. Very, very pretty. I really enjoy the formula, but like I said, I have way too many lip glosses and I just don't need another one. So my goal for this is to use it completely, completely up. Um, as you can see right now, there's a little teeny, teeny bit of usage, kind of patchy around the bottle, but definitely nowhere near done. So we'll see if I can get through that one by March. I also forgot to mention that this for me is going to be rolling. So if I do end up using up or hitting goal on these products, I'm going to roll something else in. So that's kind of like my mindset for this project and all future product projects that I do in 2019 is really just to get as much use out of my collection as I possibly can. So the last product that I have here is by Bite Beauty. This is a mini, but if you guys have ever used the Bite Beauty lipsticks, you know that they are so incredibly creamy. You barely need any. They are hyper ultra pigmented, beautiful products, and I love them dearly, dearly. But they go bad a little bit faster than your traditional lipsticks because they are food grade and they are very, very um, natural based. So they go bad a little bit quicker. Um, and this one is in the shade Thistle. And I think this is the perfect time of year to really use this up. It's a very gray toned model very grungy very 90s and I love it I really do but I don't feel like this is a color I'm gonna wear throughout the summer or spring I think this is definitely a winter shade and I would like to get it used up because it's my oldest mini that I have from bite so this is a swatch of the shade like I said it's very uh, gray toned it's very also similar to the shade cancer from the zodiac collection from bite as well which I do own the full size of so I want to get through this one and then I can start to focus on my full sizes so that is the Bite Beauty. This is where we are at. Um, I did actually measure it on the cap here. So we are right. Hello. <laughs> We're right there. And I would like to use this completely up by March. So let's see if we can do it. And that, my friends, is my Thank you next project pan <laughs> intro so let me know what you guys think if you guys are interested in doing this yourselves like i said let me know down in the comments so i can follow your journey in this project um yeah so definitely check courtney out give this video a thumbs up if you like my project pans i will like i said link my project pan playlist and my declutter playlist down below if you want to binge watch anything or just check it out um and yeah i appreciate you guys i love you thank you for sticking with me through all of the mayhem and madness in my life Hopefully it calms down a little bit now because I need a break. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.